Hello, my name is Carl Gowan, Principal Engineer with the Marin Municipal Water District, and I'm standing on Alpine Dam, and behind me is Alpine Lake, which totals approximately 8,891 acre feet of water for our customers. Alpine Dam is one of the seven district dams. All of them were recently inspected. All of them are in good condition and the spillways are in good condition. The district manages seven reservoirs to capture and store the water for our customers. Approximately 75% of the water comes from five reservoirs which are located off of Mount Tam and two reservoirs that are in West Marin. The district has a very comprehensive dam safety program. This includes monitoring, inspection and maintenance, and emergency preparedness and response. Every year, all our dams are inspected for safety by the Division of Safety of Dam. Most recently, Alpine Dam was inspected in February of this year. That inspection includes not only the spillway and its capacity, but also the dam structure and integrity, leakage rate, instrumentation, and valve cycling. The spillway at Alpine Dam is another feature which is reviewed by the Division of Safety of Dams. This particular spillway has a capacity of 9,770 cubic feet per second as compared to approximately 9,500 cubic feet per second in a storm that occurs once in 170,000 years. Therefore, this spillway is adequate to handle any major storm which is likely to occur on this watershed. and I'm standing before Nicasio Reservoir, which was formed when Seeger Dam was built in 1960. In this particular dam, this is a structure that was built with a drainage blanket. So the monitoring of this dam is to see whether there's any change in the drainage blanket flows through the dam. We monitor that every month, come out and take a measurement and then determine how much flow there is through that drainage blanket in the dam. That allows us to see if the dam is still performing in the same way it was designed when it was constructed in 1960. We're happy to say that it is and it does. At Sulahuli Dam, there are monuments along the axis across the top of the dam that allow us to see whether there's any vertical or horizontal movement. The survey between the two benchmarks, which are at either end of the dam, are used to determine whether our monuments on the dam have moved. So you're able to take a line between the two endpoints and determine whether those midpoints have changed in location over time. That survey occurs twice a year by the district and it also occurs after any seismic event. The district has an emergency preparedness and response plan that is coordinated not only with the Division of Safety of Dams, but also with the Marin County Sheriff's Office. The district is set up to respond through an emergency 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In the event of an earthquake, the district comes out and first monitors the monuments on the top of the dam to see if there's been any shifting horizontally or vertically in the dam structure. We also review and make sure we cycle our valves to show that we can draw down the lake if we need it to in an emergency. MMWD seven reservoirs are a critical part of the water infrastructure. And recently we came through the two extremes. First, we went through the drought of 2013, through the most recent year. Then we've gone through the heavy recent rainfalls. The reservoirs perform well in both circumstances, supplying our customers 75% of the water and also being capable of handling the extreme runoff from the heavy rains.
To summarize the most recent results of the recent inspections completed by the Division of Safety of Dams in February this year is the dams and spillways are in good condition. <laughs>